we stopped eating and we took a low carbohydrate diet and just did water only fasting, we would get into nutritional ketosis where the normal cells, our brain, our kidneys, our heart can be burning these ketone bodies because they have a good mitochondria and they can burn these fuels effectively. The tumor cells have a bad mitochondria. They can't burn those fuels. They're dependent on glucose and glutamine. We can replace glucose and glutamine with ketone bodies in the normal cells of our. So we selectively marginalize these tumor cells slowly over time. They slowly start to die. The blood vessels disappear and the body comes in and d dissolves them. In a simple way, what are ketones? Ketones are water-soluble breakdown products of fatty acids. These are small molecules that are water-soluble. The liver throws them out like crazy. Kidney a little bit, but mostly liver. When we don't eat, you get anxious, mainly because our brains are addicted to glucose. Once the body realizes you ain't going to eat anything, we have to start mobilizing out of our fat resources. And the fats uh, go into the bloodstream as triglycerides, which are three fatty acids attached to a glycerol backbone. They go to the liver. The liver chops them up and puts out these little water-soluble ketone bodies, and they can supply the brain with energy, the heart with energy. And not only that, they're a super fuel. It's unbelievable. That mitochondria burns these ketones. When they burn ketones, they become even more energy efficient. They don't need as much oxygen to generate more energy. That's why my colleagues call super fuel, because you can get more energy, bang for buck, burning a ketone body than you can burning a pyruvate coming from glucose, or even a fatty acid. Our ancestors were always in a state of ketosis. You get into that state by consuming very few carbohydrates and having a lot of energy. And this is the way our ancestors were.